Hey guys, I've been thinking in general, a lot of the times you kind of get into this sort of mode of suffering in your life where you're just like pushing through and you can't really necessarily get to the point of where you want to be, but you just kind of like go day in and day out, <clears throat> kind of just in the cycle of just pain and suffering where it's like you want to be in a certain place, but you don't really know how to get there. And what's interesting, too, is like right now I'm in the game and I can't find any type of food or anything. And I've just been wanderingly, aimlessly trying to find a cow that I can consume at least a little bit. And <clears throat> I kind of think that this is a lot of like what we experience like in our day to day lives. It's like we're searching for something, whether it be meaning, uh, whether it be a relationship whether it be something to do with school or grade or work, we're, we're all, always searching for something that we really can't find like deep to deep and inside of us. And it causes us to suffer because when we feel that we are inadequate, that something is wrong, that something is missing, we tend to really focus on that and feel a lot of pain. And the biggest thing here is that it, it, it could be natural. It could be very natural for you to feel pain that your life isn't the way it is. But the biggest thing that causes suffering is you focusing on that pain specifically and keep ruminating about the pain and obsessing over it. Like right now, I could be obsessing over the fact that I can't find a cow to eat. And as silly as that sounds, it's kind of like what, <laughs> what we do ev like every day when we are when we are suffering is we have we have pain. Not not that we don't ignore the pain, but we just obsess over it and it makes our life so much more worse than it could be. Like right now, I could be not so obsessed with finding a cow that I could maybe get wood right now, build up a little bit on my house or something and, and kind of feed the chickens right there. But since I'm so obsessed about trying to find this food resource that I want, I can't enjoy the game. It's the same way as you can't enjoy a life if you're suffering. So the best way I, I, I would recommend is to try and make sure you distinguish between when you are in pain and when you are in suffering. And I think to kind of avoid suffering, there's a lot of ways you can avoid suffering. And it kind of is like dependent on what you want. But my best advice is to try possibly focusing away from the thing that you are suffering with. Like, let's say you have a knee injury or something like that. It's not like completely, like it's not like your knee is broken or anything like that, but it's just like a nagging thing. Like maybe try distracting yourself or playing a video game or meditating. There's a lot of ways in which you can stop obsessing over it. And then I think once you stop obsessing so much, that's when suffering goes away. I don't think that's perfect. That's perfect advice, <clears throat> but that's kind of like what I'm trying to get at exactly here. Like maybe I'll repeat that even even again, because I want to I want to just start posting videos in general, like not really caring exactly how they are. going. Jeez, that poor, poor guy there. Just not caring exactly how they're going to sound or how they're going to look um, and just posting more long term, long form content because I'm so focused on short term, short form content because it gives me like the most views, the most likes, etc, etc. But I don't think it I don't think I can get my message across sometimes and everything and I want to like get get my message 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 across in all types of areas and I want to build my speaking ability too. <clears throat> it's like also as well. It's I'm just trying to build a better self while also helping you guys out and I think I will get there at some point.